Hi there. Now I am so often asked about how to create an effortless, authentic work wardrobe. So today I'm going to teach you the three questions that you need to ask before you even look at your wardrobe, before you go shopping for anything new. Because if you know the answers to these three questions, it's the perfect starting point to make sure that you have an intentionally curated wardrobe. Now, first of all, I'm going to give you a bit of context because when I work with my one-to-one -one clients, this is the question that I ask them in their prep work. And it's really about how to find out what their values are. And the reason it's so important is that obviously when I open the door to a new client, I get my first impression of them. And in this particular instance, Susie was on the other side of the door. Now, Susie was very fair. She was quite petite. She was quite feminine really pleasant, softly spoken, really lovely woman, but she was a lawyer. And in her work, she wants to be seen as authoritative and powerful. And what she'd had as feedback was that she came across as delicate and fragile. And these were not words that she wanted. So the reason I'm highlighting this is because obviously when I then went on to look at Susie's wardrobe, if I hadn't known the context for what she was looking for. If I hadn't known that actually what she really wanted to do was to come across as impressive and powerful, I could have been reviewing her wardrobe and seeing nice dresses and thinking, oh, they're perfectly nice. Yes, they suit you, they suit your coloring, they fit you. But I wouldn't have been looking at them in the context of what she wanted to achieve. So that's why these questions are so powerful. So these are the three questions that I want to, you to ask yourself so that you can be really clear on your personal brand values. So first of all, the first thing is what words would those people who know you well describe you as? What are the words that your friends, your family, your colleagues, how do they describe you? Write those down. Secondly, what are your key strengths? What do you know that you're known for? Maybe you've done the Strengths Finder act, um, activity or you've read that book. Maybe you just know that there's certain strengths that you that really shine out for you and that are part of your particular strengths um, skill set. And finally, how would you like to be described? And this is related to the Susie, uh, my client Susie, is you might have some things where, some words where you know that they are you, you know, but it's not how you appear on first meeting. So they're the really important ones. You know, how would you like to be seen where you might not be being seen right now? So take some time and write down the answers to those questions. And then when you've got some, some of them might come up again and again. You know, you could even ask some colleagues and friends. You could ask your family as well. You might have words that come up again and again. You want to narrow those down to five words. And those are going to be your personal brand values. And the reason it's so important is that when you know what those words are, you can assess your clothes and wardrobe with intention. You can create a work wardrobe that works for you because it's working for you with the impression that you want to leave other people with. What is it that you want people to know about you before you even open your mouth? So again, just to recap, if you answer those three questions, it will help you get really clear on your personal brand values and you can shop with intention and really to start to create that work wardrobe that works. Now, to get a list of values, you can obviously look in my book. If you've already got my book, you'll find those in there. But you can also download a list below. Now, it's not a completely comprehensive list. You might have words that are not on that values list to describe you. So really check in with yourself and see what works for you. But if you don't know any values words and you just want something to give you a kickstart, take a look on the list that you can get from the link below. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. And next week, I'm going to show you in the video how to use these words to do the other really essential piece of work that you need to do before you start buying anything new. And that is an image audit. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Please do let me know um, how you get on and I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks. Have a great day.